Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel, and today I'm bringing to you the second part of my Owls vlog. So I didn't do a proper introduction to my first one, and I've just uploaded my first and noticed. So here we are having a proper introduction. Um, so the Owls has been running since the first of the month. I wanted to vlog the whole thing, so I've decided to split my vlog into the first two weeks and the second two weeks and two days. Um, two, three days, I can't count. Um, but yeah, so at this point in time, I have finished four of the seven prompts I have to finish to become a charms professor. I started my fifth prompt today, which is Divination, to read a book set in the future, and I've gone with Allegiant by Veronica Roth. How it was the right way around. Um, so yeah, this is a battered old, ugly copy, a hardback, hardback without the dust jacket. And I just wanted to get it read and off my shelves. So I decided lumping it in with the readathon would just mean that I get it done, really. Um, I've read 28 pages so far and I am actually enjoying it. Um, everyone says this is the worst one and that I shouldn't bother. I'm bothering and I'm 28 pages in. So I've got another like 498, I think that makes it, until I finish it. So I've got a long way to go. Let's see if I can do it. Um... I am sat down here properly as well because I got some exciting posts today. So my first ever book subscription box, I got the Book Spot box. Um, Lauren does unboxings for these guys. Um, and this is actually the February box. So I've been really cheap and gone back two months because I'm just sad like that and didn't want to spend 20 pounds. <laughs> so I got this one discounted. Um, I am going to do a full video unboxing it, even though a lot of people have probably seen it already. Um, I hadn't heard of this box. I don't know what's in here. So, getting excited. Some more posts today, which are just a couple of books that I bought myself, because why not? So these will all be in my end of the month haul, but as they've arrived here and now, I may as well show you. We've got Beyond a Dark and Shore by Jessica Leek. And excitingly, it is signed on the inside. So... I thought that was cool. Um, I only got it for a couple of quid, so the fact it's signed is is fun. Um, I also got the Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey um, with an annoying little sticker bit on it, um, but underneath the dust jacket looks the same as the cover. So decision to make there on whether to keep the dust jacket. Um, again, a couple of quid. I know this is an end of the world dystopian book. I've watched the film, can't remember it. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be cool. I read somewhere that it deals with girls having periods in the apocalypse, which to be honest, I'd read all that just to, just to see how that gets brought up because <laughs> that's exciting. And Broken Things by Lauren Oliver. This is a giant book. So normal hardback is here. This is massive. Is this American? <laughs> it's huge. Um, but yeah, again, I haven't heard the best things about this, but I had it on my um, Amazon wish list and it came up at about three pound. So just grabbed it. How can you not? Um, but yes, yeah, so that's all the post I got. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit and film my book box um, unboxing. And I have got a lot of work to do today. I have finally, got my dissertation printed so exciting um but yeah i need to read it proofread it and make loads of changes so that's a big task so i thought i'd do all my fun book stuff first and then get on to the boringness of my dissertation so yeah hope you guys enjoy prosecco and mince pie ice cream because i am a hoarder and bought this at christmas i bought a lot because it tastes good and trust me, it was worth saving. Watching Lauren because she's fab. And oh, actually, sorry, Lauren, that's not the best time to pause the video. And um, doing some dissertation corrections. So, yeah, fun evening. Morning. It's Tuesday morning. It's about 10 to 8, I think. And I just wanted to give you a quick update. I only managed to read 42 pages of Allegiant last night. Um, I had a lot going on. I posted two videos actually, which is cool. Um, but yeah, so I didn't do too much reading. Now I've got to go to work and, and I have a driving lesson because I still haven't passed my test. <laughs> so yeah, got to go to work, do some driving 
and get home. And then I can maybe read some. It is now Friday morning. No, it's not. It's Thursday. See, I don't even know what day I'm on. Um, I haven't vlogged. I'm sorry. Uh, mainly because I haven't actually been reading. So only last night I got 180 pages into Allegiant. Something like that. It's in my bag. Um, so I'm hoping for a pretty chilled morning at work so I can maybe get my book out. But yeah, I just haven't read anything, so I thought, why vlog? And I've got a lot happening later on in the week and next week, so there is going to be more footage. I just haven't actually, haven't read. Um, liking Allegiant so far. I don't really see everyone's problem with it, but maybe that'll come later. So yeah, just going to go to work and do a bit more reading. Good morning. It's about eight o'clock on Good Friday. Uh, is it the 19th? I think it's the 19th. Um, so I am up pretty early because my dad will never drive anywhere um, on a bank holiday without trying to beat traffic. So we are going to the world's biggest Primark, which has opened about 45 minutes from my house. Um, so my little sister who passed a driving test a little while back now hasn't been on the motorway yet. So this is going to be her trip out on the motorway and we get to go to Primark. So it's apparently just huge. I've heard there's three cafes, a nail bar, like a barber's, a hairdresser's, everything. So there is also a Harry Potter section. So I'm going to try my best to film some of the Harry Potter section for you. Um, because I've been told it's huge. I've seen a picture with like potions, um, cauldrons, forgot the word, and like towered up and then each house's banner like across the roof ceiling i'm not great with words this morning so yeah i'm gonna read a legion on my way there i'm now exactly halfway through it um so i want to try and get it read by the end of tomorrow so i can start next week with a new book but yeah so i'm gonna read a legion on the way there so i've got a good 45 minutes of reading reading in the journey go to the harry i'm calling it the harry potter shop there is a whole bit of harry potter um, and then we're going to go to a or you can eat Chinese for lunch because that's what we always do when we're in that town. So it's going to be a good day. Good morning. It is half ten on Saturday. Um, Oh, Saturday morning, as you can tell, it's not night. Um, and I've just finished Allegiant. Um, I'd heard awful things about it, and I'm actually going to go back and read some of the reviews now. But I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. Um, I know a lot of people were not happy with the ending. I think it worked. I don't see how it could have gone a different way, really. Obviously, I can't say more than that without um, massive spoilers. But yeah. I quite enjoyed it. Gave it four stars. I am still getting rid of the book because it's an ugly card cover with no dust jacket. So I don't really want that set about. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy it. So sorry, everyone else. Um, and now I don't actually know what I'm going to pick up. I don't know if I'm going to start reading another book today. Um, I feel like I've read enough today already. Um, but the books I had chosen originally were Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill for Ancient Runes and Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett for Astronomy. Um, I don't actually know. I'm feeling like reading Dead Girls Dance uh, by Rachel Kane, which is the second book of the Morganville series, which I had down for History of Magic. Sort of fancy that. Um, to be honest, I don't, I don't mind what I read, but I do have two more exams I need to pass to be a charms professor so we'll just see what i fancy picking up hello so it is four o'clock on saturday that has gone fast that's creepy um i've got a poll running at the moment to say whether i should read surface breaks by louise o'neill starry eyes by jen bennett will grayson will grayson by john green and david levithan and um dead girls dance by rachel kane um, and I just thought, as I'm waiting for that to go, I thought I'd have a break from the revising I was doing and maybe just read the first chapter of The Surface Breaks. I can see it says that the author is Louise O'Neill. Um, did not tie any links to that, if I'm honest. And then I open the front. It says, 
also by Louise O'Neill, Asking For It, which I unhauled yesterday <laughs> because I didn't like the writing. Like, oh God, never mind. Um, so yeah, I am just going to read a quick chapter of this. There's three hours left on that poll, so I've got time. Um, because this is actually a library book and I want to finish, no matter whether I finish all of the owls in April, which is not going to happen at this stage, I do want to finish them all anyway, just as a, a point to myself. Um, so yeah, I will read this eventually, so there's no harm in starting it, but we will see if I hate the writing. Um, update to come. Turns out I'm going to be reading Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Leverton. This was most voted in the poll. I think like six people responded. So <laughs> three people chose this. So this is what we're reading. Um, I have looked, it is only 308 pages long. So it's definitely shorter than a lot of the books I've been reading, which makes me feel quite good. Um, I have started re-watching the whole of Once Upon a Time as I revise and I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm on episode four maybe. And I can't remember being this good, it's great. So I'm gonna carry on doing some revising and watching Once Upon a Time. And then I might make a hot chocolate and read some book. But yeah, it's quarter past eight. I've got plenty of time to carry on doing things tonight. Um, and I've still got a lot more revision to do. So we will see what I get on with. Hello, so it is 11 o'clock on Monday, the 22nd. And as it is a bank holiday, I'm at home. We've got my lovely bed hair here and pajamas. It's all good. <laughs> um, but I'm really enjoying Will Grayson, Will Grayson. I'm on page 164, I want to say. Yeah, exactly. And I am strangely enjoying it. I've read a lot of reviews that don't like it. People either really, really like this or really hate it. Um, I don't like David Levithan's, Levy, however you say his name. I don't like his writing. He doesn't use capital letters, which bothers me. Um, and it probably is just that I don't like about his writing, but it's so distracting like, to read every sentence and go, that means a capital letter. So not exactly a fan, but the story is quite cute so far. I'm about halfway through. Um, yeah, so I am enjoying it. I'm struggling to put it down now because I really need to start doing some work. So that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, I will be putting it down until later on because I have some things I need to do today. So it is still Monday and I have another update for you. Um, all of the updates seem to be happening in this jumper, in this space. Never mind just how this vlog's going at the moment. Um, but I have finished Will Grayson, Will Grayson. I read 236 pages today, which is a lot more than I've normally been reading every day. I gave this four stars, I really liked it. A lot of the criticisms on Goodreads I don't actually understand, so that could just be me. But this is definitely one of my favorite John Green books. Um, saying that, I did not like um, David Leventhal's writing. The non-use of capital letters just seemed pointless and irritating, like it was just trying to annoy me. But I really like the characters. I really like the story. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to, if you've read this book and didn't like it, please chat to me in the comments because I need to understand why people's ratings of this book was was quite low. I didn't really see any issues with it. Um, saying that, I'm now gonna start The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill. I am 12 pages in, so I obviously don't have a feeling for it yet. Um, but I keep, every time I go to pick this up, I feel more and more put off about actually reading it. And I don't know why that is, but I'm gonna try and get a good chunk through tonight so I can get a bit more of a feel for the story. So we will see how that goes. And hopefully I'll have some more interesting updates for you <laughs> tomorrow because you've pretty much just had me sat in this chair telling you what I've been reading. So I'll try and make it more interesting. It is just about eight o'clock on Tuesday and I'm walking to work. I feel like absolute rubbish um, because it's my third attempt at my driving test today. And even saying that out loud makes me feel like a failure and I haven't even failed the third one yet, which we all know is gonna happen. Um, no confidence in it whatsoever, which I guess isn't great. I just really want to drive. I have a car. I can drive, but this stupid test 
I just can't do it. So we've got that. And in my stress of yesterday, I managed to feed the whole of Will Grayson, Will Grayson. I think I vlogged that. Um, and then instead of just reading a couple pages of the surface breaks, I read the whole thing. So yeah, I read two books yesterday. Um, so I haven't brought one with me today. I've now finished all my exams for a chance professor. I just feel like crap. So you will know within the next 30 seconds of this vlog whether I passed or not. I did it. I passed. I literally cried on the examiner and said like, oh my God, I could kiss you. And I've never seen a man leave a car so fast. Like, I am so proud and I've probably only just stopped crying. I just can't believe it. Like, oh, I could cry. But it does mean there is no chance I'm doing any revision tonight. I need a, I need a celebration tonight. So I do need to pick a book to read. Um, I will let you know what that is when I've decided on it. But I passed my driver test. Less than two hours since passing my test, I am walking to my mum and dad's house. Because even though I have a car, I'm too tight to tax it until the first of the month. This is just my life. Quick update, uh, you will notice that I'm still walking even though I passed my driving test two days ago. I have now insured my car, but starting next week. So, still walking. Um, but yeah, it's now Thursday, um, about 20 past eight, so I'm just walking to work. I did pick up the Dead Girls Dance last night, the second Morganville Vampires book, and read 105 pages. Um, I know it's just me and my friend in the office today because my friend has been helping us out with some temp work, so I'm gonna have a bit of a read, I think. And then I'm off work till next Tuesday, so I've got a bit of a break. God, I'm out of breath already from walking. But it looks like it's gonna be a horrible day. Yesterday, I got absolutely drenched walking in the rain the day after I passed my driving test. It was cruel. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it at that and update you when I read something. So it is 20 past four on Saturday and Will doesn't want to be in the vlog. Uh, we are wandering on a random road in, where are we? Angle, <laughs> in Pembrokeshire. And there is nothing around us for literally miles. <laughs> um, I have employed what I'm now branding the book pouch so I can carry my book to the beach after um, because I was too lazy to bring a bag but yeah I will be reading at some point and Will sort of says hello even though he doesn't want to be in the vlog <laughs> Hello so we are going to ignore the fact that it is now the 1st of May and pretend this is yesterday's update I went as you've seen in the clips, I went away for my boyfriend's dad's wedding and um, was a bit too busy to read, vlog, everything. Um, and then I had a bit too much to drink on the Sunday, so I spent all day Monday in bed, so no reading happened there. And then Tuesday, yesterday, I was working, catching up on things, there was an update to my favourite video game, so playing that for a while so yeah I just completely ran out of time to update you um apologies but we're now at the end of the owls and that is very upsetting I've had such a fun time doing it I did only well only I completed eight owls um I wanted to at least do nine because that was the outstanding or exceeds expectations or whatever there was a specific yay for nine um but yeah I read eight so just to I've got my little um I was tracking them on what I did every day. Um, so yeah, I finished Dead Girls Dance, which I don't think I'd finished the last time I updated you. Um, but didn't read any more than that. So where has my list gone? I've lost it. So, I originally, I was going for a charms professor, and I'm not actually sure if I want to stick with that or not. I have finished charms, but the only definite one you need to be a, a Hogwarts professor is Defense Against the Dark Arts. And then I basically have seven subjects to choose from that I could teach. So I have Defence Against the Dark Arts, which I read Rubbernecker by Belinda Bauer. Potions, I read Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. Divination, I read Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Arithmancy, Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Leviton. History of Magic was Dead Girls Dance by Rachel Kane. Muggle Studies was The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. 
Ancient Runes was The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill and Charms was Falling Through Clouds by Anna Chilvers. So yeah, those are the only books I've read. That, those are eight prompts. Um, so I could be a professor in anything I want. And I have had ready for this occasion my Hogwarts professor in a frame. I got this frame for a pound from Tiger. So I decided to put the, um, the thing in it. Um, and then it obviously has the things I need to do in the newts to finish my qualifications and then I'll stick this up on the wall. Maybe I will do anyway, because it looks really pretty. Um, but by the time, oh, someone's mowing their lawn. I don't know if you can hear it, it's really annoying. But by the time the newts roll round, I shouldn't be doing anything academic. I should literally just be working or just starting my new job. So I'm gonna have a lot of reading time. So I'm gonna smash the newts like I couldn't manage to smash the owls. Um, all of the books I didn't manage to get to, I am going to try and read in May. Um, so let me tell you what they are before I go. Um, I have switched one of them around. I was gonna read One of Us is Lying for Transfiguration because it has sprayed edges. But instead I'm gonna read An Abundance of Catherine's by John Green. I've got a really wrecked old copy um, and I sort of wanna get rid of it, but I don't remember being that amazed by the story. So I wanna read it again, see how I feel about it and I can get rid of my copy that it just needs to go. It needs to be thrown in the bin. I lent it to a friend on holiday and I'm pretty sure she dropped it in the pool and didn't tell me, it's it's manky. Um, I didn't read Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett, which I really, really wanted to read because Brittany bought me that. I also didn't read Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, which Brittany bought me. Um, Going Bovine by Libba Bray was the other one. That was my land animal on the cover. So I do want to read all those. I just haven't had time. But if you have made it to the end of the second part of my vlog, well done and i have got so many more subscribers since i started this vlog nicole put me in a um small booktuber shout out video and so many people have come from that i'm really really grateful and it's just i'm actually i'm growing and it's lovely um but yeah so if you have made it to the end of this well done congratulations thank you for sticking around and i hope to see you in my next video